In this video, we answer two questions. What is sexual harassment in work? And what do you do when you're experiencing it? In California, there are two common forms of sexual harassment. The two most common forms of sexual harassment are hostile work environment harassment and quid pro quo harassment. Hostile work environment sexual harassment requires severe or repeated behavior that offends you and would offend the average person in your position. And it has to be based on your gender for it to be sexual harassment. The offensive behavior can be physical. It can involve unwanted touching or physical contact. It can include statements. It can involve statements that are made to you like a sexual joke or a sexist joke or sexual innuendo, graphic comments about your body, threats that have a sexual motive or are based on your gender. It can involve statements that are based on your sex that are mean, degrading, bigoted, or otherwise insulting. It can include unwanted discussions of graphic sexual acts. It can also be visual, such as being stared down or leered at or being shown or sent sexual or graphic sexual images. It can also be direct, being asked, repeatedly asked out on a date or some social event in a manner that's inappropriate or offensive to you. Quid pro quo sexual harassment is when job benefits are offered in exchange for sexual favors or social interaction. For example, go out with me or you're fired, or go out with me and there's a promotion waiting for you, or I need team players and the context involves social interaction. Another form of sexual harassment is sexual favoritism. This kind of gender discrimination occurs when supervisors reward employees with whom they are having sex or sexual contact with and punish employees who refuse to go along or engage in the behavior. You can also be a victim of sexual harassment even if the person harassing you is of the same gender. Now, what do you do if this is happening to you at work? Well, of course, don't go along with it in any way. If you do, it may be viewed that you consented to the behavior. It could hurt your credibility. Don't stay silent if you can avoid it. If you do, it may be viewed, again, that you consented to the behavior. Being scared or embarrassed is understandable, but the longer you stay silent, the more your silence will be used against you. So report it, document it to your boss and her human resources, and the best way to do that is in writing and to keep a copy. When you make the complaint, include everything that you heard, saw, or experienced. Stick to the facts, but don't edit or leave out details of what happened. If it keeps happening, keep reporting it. And keep a personal journal of what's happening and how it is affecting you. If the behavior is causing you to suffer physically, and it probably is, go to a doctor, tell the doctor what's going on. Headaches, loss of appetite are two typical examples of what victims often report to their doctors. If the behavior is causing you to suffer emotionally, and it probably is, go to a psychotherapist like an LCSW or an MFT and tell the professional what is going on and how it is making you feel. Being anxious, depressed are two typical examples of what victims often report to their therapist. No matter what you do, even if you had stayed silent, went along with the behavior for a moment in time and did not report it, go to a lawyer with experience who you feel comfortable with. A lawyer can lay out the options for you whether you have a lawsuit or whether you should consider resigning or seeking a transfer and what next steps you should take are all matters a lawyer can consider with you. If you are suffering at work because your legal rights are being violated, you should go to a lawyer in the same way you would go to a doctor if you are feeling physically ill. Do not let the situation drag on. There is a time limit for bringing your lawsuit and if you wait too long, you can lose your rights. I'm Josh Ritz from T. Joshua Ritz & Associates, Inc. and I've been practicing law for 28 years. I've represented hundreds of women whose rights were violated at work. If you've been sexually harassed at work, call us today. We can help you.